insane amounts of termite damage. It's, oh my goodness, absolutely paper thin. You see that? You see that screwdriver? That is in the main floor joist inside this customer's house. So here's what happened. About a month ago, the owner of this property called me and said that her renter was seeing signs of flying ants and regular ants inside her house and she wanted me to come over there and take a look and get them taken care of for her. So I drive over here and sure enough, they actually do have odorous house ants just wandering around, trailing in their kitchen, finding food, finding water. No big deal, I treated the ants, but as I was further doing my treatment, I had a feeling that when she called, these uh, flying ants weren't going to be flying ants because it was early April, prime termite swarmer season in North Carolina here. So I had my eye out. I had my eye out for termite swarmers, Eastern subterranean termites, and that is exactly what I found. Let me just show you exactly what I found because all of the dead termites, <laughs> they're still here. So I'm in the basement right now. This is kind of like an unfinished basement type situation. And on the ground, I found these guys. These are all dead flying termite swarmers. You guys should know what termite swarmers look like by now. They are black, very long wings, two segmented bodies, straight antennas. That's how you can tell if they are flying termites and not flying ants. They were found in the basement here. They were also found upstairs in the main living area. We're gonna go upstairs in just a second. In today's video, we're going to go over exactly what went wrong. Long story short, this house has the worst termite damage I have seen in my six years in the pest control industry. There are major, major floor joists and beams that are heavily, heavily damaged from this termite infestation. This termite infestation must have been here for years and years before the owners or the tenants found out about it. So if you're interested in this not happening to your house, I would suggest you finish watching this video. We're going to go over what I recommend for termite control, how to prevent termites, and exactly what went wrong in this poor, poor house here. The owners have just completely neglected it and the termites have been feasting feasting, feasting for years. Before we get started, I wanted to shout out the sponsors of today's video. One is Brio Stack, my pest control software. The second is Nysis, a company that makes the best preventative wood treatment termite product in the pest control industry. We're gonna talk about both of those later and how those companies can help protect your house from termites. I know you guys are itching for me to show you the major, major termite infestation and damage, so I'm going to do that now. I've got my probe here, a flathead screwdriver, and I'm going to be poking these floor joists and showing you how a lot of these supportive floor joists and beams, the screwdriver just goes straight through. So let's go ahead and look at that right now. All right, so let's start with some, uh, some average stuff and then we'll work our way up to some juicy, juicy stuff. So check out this floor joist. Screwdriver goes in a little bit. There's some termite activity here. Look at the screwdriver, guys. Watch. I'm gonna put my finger right there and pull it out. It's a solid inch. Inch where that termite colony has gone onto this floor joist, and this goes all the way that way for multiple, multiple more feet. Now let's check up here. This, this bad boy, that's the main beam. And I'm not saying this house is a uh, the best house it's got a wrench as a supporting member <laughs> for this beam here so i gotta be careful <laughs> but this main floor joist right here okay i guess we can get some more light this floor this main joist right here i mean look at this guys this is insane insane amounts of termite damage it's oh my goodness absolutely paper thin you see that you see that screwdriver that is in the main floor joist inside this customer's house. Ugh. Obviously you can see there is insulation everywhere. This is just some of the main areas I've found. I have not been pulling down all this insulation to find every single piece of termite damage. There's just termite damage almost everywhere. It's really, really sad, but <laughs> honestly, I don't feel bad because termites don't eat your house down overnight. This problem has likely been going on for years and years without the homeowner addressing the problem at all. All right, let's look at a couple more. So this is also the main floor beam right here. That's going long ways, termite damage right there. All these little like slits where I can just shove the screwdriver up in there. That's termite damage right there. That's termite damage. 
This is all termite damage. So I did a liquid treatment on this house a couple weeks ago and I'm just here doing a follow-up visit, making sure everything looks okay. The signs of termites I found were on the exterior of the home. They had a trail going up from the ground to the house. That was on the front of the house. This way, this way, there's all this wood that I am not going to be inspecting or, or tearing down the insulation. I can only imagine how much damage. There is likely termite damage throughout probably 80% of the wood members in this house. Some worse than others. Of course, some only have a little bit of termite activity. I can't wait to show you guys upstairs. The hardwood flooring is being absolutely demolished by these termites. Let's take a couple more peeks. Where were some of those other areas I wanted to show you? The wood, ladies and gentlemen, is not supposed to look like this. It's supposed to be sturdy, sturdy wood. But instead, you can stick your screwdriver through it like butter. Let's go ahead and take you upstairs because at the end of the day, this is just an unfinished basement. So I can understand how you might miss this termite activity, but I don't understand how someone could possibly miss all of this termite damage I'm about to show you upstairs. So as I'm walking up, I wanted to tell you what I did to help with this termite infestation. I came by, I did the initial inspection, verified that it was a termite infestation. I then treated the house with a liquid chemical. That's a soil treatment around the exterior perimeter. If I had to do this all over again, I would treat this home when it was under construction with a product called Boracare. Boracare, as you may guess, is a borate based product. It's a wood application treatment. This product has been proven to seal the wood fight it against termites and other wood destroying insects for 30 years. Borate is a mineral salt, meaning it has minimal, minimal decay over time. That's why the Boracare treatment lasts 30 years and Nysis even issues warranties. So not getting the house treated is the first thing that went wrong. The second thing that went wrong is not getting the home inspected once a year by a professional pest control company. I tell you guys to do this. Please, please, please get your homes inspected once a year by a professional, mainly because it is to you as a homeowner, usually 100% free. Pest control companies will happily inspect your home for termites for zero charge. Every single customer I have, I recommend getting their house inspected once a year for termites. I rely on BrioStack, my pest control software, to schedule the annual treatments. Let me know when to schedule, when to call the customer. They automatically send them emails and schedule my appointments, does all kinds of things to help my customers make sure that they do not have termite issues in their house. Because this is what happens when you get termites in your house. You have thousands and thousands of dollars worth of damage. They said that the termite swarmers came out last year even too. Let me show you. You guys can probably already tell this hardwood floor beam, this one looks okay. This hardwood floor beam, that one looks okay. But this one, and this one kind of look funny, don't they? And sometimes termites just prefer types of wood or if they're just in a member, they just start attacking it, attacking it. That's why they skip sometimes. And oh, oh my gosh. Oh, the baseboard guys, I forgot to show you the baseboard. The baseboard is completely <laughs> demolished as well. That's a, uh, that's an inch into the baseboard. I guarantee you the baseboard is not an inch long. It's less than an inch long. So that termite damage goes all the way through. Another example the damage going all the way through there. Let's check out the wood flooring here. Pretty sure the wood's not supposed to look like this. Check it out. Completely, completely demolished. The termites have turned this wood into, well, basically just paper. We're going to put this back so it looks nice and neat. <laughs> All right, you may be thinking, well, this is just one small area and it's probably right above the damage in the basement. You're wrong. There is extreme, extreme damage in multiple areas inside this house. Let me go ahead and finish showing you the damage on this baseboard. I already poked a couple holes, so I don't want to, you know, do it too much. But this baseboard is, I mean, <laughs> look at this door stopper, guys. Door stoppers aren't supposed to wiggle like that. Trust me. Trust me, I'm a door stop expert. Let's go over to this bedroom so I can show you some more damage. Let's uh, let's start over here in the corner. 
uh, right here where I am, uh, where, where we just were, that was in the middle of the house. This is towards the front of the house. This is where I saw the termite tubes coming up the side of the house, feeding directly into the siding and the wood. So check this out. If you'll notice all these grooves in the wood, I mean, it is normal to see some grooves in the wood because of the natural texture, but it is not supposed to be this flaky. This is what we call blistering, when the paint kind of separates from the wood. That means that there is moisture behind here, and that moisture is usually because of termites. Look at that. Screwdriver completely in the wall. This is going all the way from the side of the house there. Actually, there's more damage under the nightstand. I'll show you in a second. I mean, it's going all the way until here. This is a good five feet section that's gonna need to be replaced. It's the exact same under here. This is very, very, very bad. So long story short, the uh, I've told the homeowner of the severity of the damage. They have not gotten a contractor out here to take a look or anything, but I'm guessing this bill is gonna be upward of $10,000 or more to get this house, uh, if they really want to replace everything. I don't know if they're gonna replace everything because it's, it's extensive, extensive termite damage. Please, please, basically anywhere in the Eastern United States and anywhere south of Colorado in the Western United States, you need to have your house inspected for termites every year, treated when it's under construction. That is the best time to treat it. So that's it guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned that uh, termites are no joke. They're not going to eat your house down overnight, but give them a couple years and they'll do something like this to your house or anyone's house. So thank you. Thank you. And get your house inspected for termites this year. Peace.